Hi everyone, I just wanted to come on uh, quickly. There was a couple of things in my mind the last couple of days. And one of those things was, um, on my last video I mentioned about, you know, having a box when I was about 16 and uh, and things like that. Um, way back when I was younger, um, before Frank Sumption discovered what he did, people were trying to communicate with uh, extraterrestrials and ghosts and spirits um, through, still through the radio but um, many of them believed that in between stations frequencies that had no um, audio on them um, we, believed that we, we believed back then that static was the key to getting this communication so um, uh, even amateur radio was used um, scanning through all the um, all the uh, all the stations and trying to find uh, voices between between channels and between frequencies. And it was in two thousand and two that Frank Sumption had discovered what he did, and um, it actually proved that what we were doing was not the right thing but um, you know someday I would love to find that box it's in my home house um, it's a it's a failure but it, 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 it's a bit of history of what we used to do way back a long time ago now I can't hold my mouth any longer about Steve Huff now Steve Huff um, has these wonder boxes and in in the modern world you know uh, uh, paranormal investigators to get some equipment and stuff like that and uh, you, you know you have your sp7s and your hack radios and stuff some of them may not know who Frank Sumption is now the reason why I brought up Steve Huff is you know these wonder boxes with uh, noise gates and reverb pedals I mean like that is not, it is not an original idea of Steve Huff, you know, yes the reverb pedal is a new modern thing and he may have modernised it, but I want to show you a picture, I don't want, I don't want to show on any of the, of the video as such, this is a uh, Frank Sumption, and I'm going to show you a picture right now. Right, what you're looking at there, folks, is a speaker right here. And you have, what you have here is a box. And inside that box, there are sections in it. And this is, this is what's called, and what he has come up with, as an echo box. So, this is the original idea. This is, this is, uh, this is Frank Sumption's idea. And... Take note, this crystal up here, um, Frank had believed that the crystals like, or the spirits like um, the crystals, and he has a magnet over here, he believed that uh, the spirits like to have the magnets as well. So the crystal, the echo box, and the speaker, um, you can see that is actually the original idea, and not a ground-breaking um you know the the um, the uh, uh, reverb pedal is not a brown, groundbreaking idea as you uh, um, think it is, or may think it is. Um, that is the original idea, and um, the reverb pedal is just a modern version of that. So Frank Sumption came up with that original idea. Right? Can you see along the side here these uh, these little uh, different color lights and that? Uh, Frank Sumption said that that was actually for uh, decoration and possibly spirits will like them. Um, look at the modern version, you can see uh, Steve Hupp's uh, uh, box with his LED lights. You know, and uh, that is not, that is not uh, Steve Hupp's idea either, that's Frank Sumption's. Steve Hupp would not be in a, a, the position that he is in now. Um, if it wasn't for Frank Sumption, because all the original ideas was actually Frank Sumption's in the first place. 
I mean absolutely no disrespect to anybody that follows Steve Huff but I'm asking you to please look at this video uh, with the link in the description um, you know um, I, I normally wouldn't come up with a con controversial topic I try to keep, stay neutral on that but I'm actually quite angered by some of the things that I've seen uh, and that's why I, I, I feel like I have to speak out you know People think that the Wonder Box is the best thing to slice bread and uh, um, a telephone to the dead and um, Steve Hub's great invention. He didn't invent that. It's it's a, it's an amplifier with with a couple of pedals um, wired to it. He didn't invent those parts. He didn't he didn't go through all the circuitry and uh, uh, do all the um, electronics and that. Those were a couple of parts put together to make funny noises. You know, reverbing sound and um, noise gating and reversing and stuff like that. It is not a. It's not the. It's not. It's not um, the massive uh, discovery that he makes it out to be, and he sells it for thousands of uh, dollars. Like um, at the end of the day, the, the dice TC field was never about money. It was about uh, contacting spirits. And, and spur communication. That's all it was. The original uh, Frank Sumption uh, uh, interview is uh, 47 minutes long and it's to me one of the most important videos when it comes to ITC. And When you look at this video and then you look at Steve Huff's so-called discoveries, most of them originated back uh, with uh, Steve uh, or Frank Sumption. I mean Frank Sumption um, he originally made these uh, these boxes and to try and communicate with his son who had passed away. Um, there was no major commercial um, intent behind it. Uh, in, his in, in the interview um, he actually looks very awkward on camera. Um, it looks like he was talked into doing this interview. Um, he probably was more comfortable in his workshop making his uh, uh, making his um, uh, inventions better and um, improving with things and experimenting with things. Um, it just I, I, it it angers me to see how much was stolen from Frank Sumption's ideas and made majorly commercialized and um, people claiming um, these discoveries as their own and um, you know I had to speak out about it I'm sorry but you know I have been watching Steve Hobbs, Hobbs videos for a long long time and um, you know um, these these wonder boxes with all this these pedals and stuff um, they're not they're not major discoveries to be to be quite honest with you. I don't see them as major discoveries um, uh, and in fact um, uh, the videos that Steve Huff does I mean like when you when you're doing paranormal evidence um, um, and and um, Making a paranormal video uh, with EVPs and and um, spirit box sessions. Um, if you start uh, cutting it up and and putting jump cuts in there, um, you, you've you've already contaminated your evidence. And he has done that time after time, but he, he just gets away with it. Um, and I I just don't fully understand it. But as far as I'm concerned, uh, Frank Sumption was the 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 main guy. Who, um, that just made the major discoveries in ITC and you look on YouTube there is hardly anything about it he was not a showman unlike Steve Huff, Huff who uh, is constantly um, blowing his own trumpet saying the best EVP ever evidence ever captured and all this kind of stuff um, and, and people are um, he, he's got a following it, it's it's and those, those, a lot of those people that are that that follow him, 
don't know any different. They haven't seen Frank Sumption. They haven't seen this video. And I think this is one of the most important videos in ITC. Um, this video of Frank Sumption with all his, his um, discoveries. And he, he talks he talks in depth about um, how all the all, all, all this stuff works. I mean like um, and I discovered this uh, um, a video this video uh, just yesterday. Um, Steve Huff, Huff saying, "Oh, we don't need uh, spirit boxes anymore because we can uh, talk directly to the spirits through this box." And um, uh, you know, I, I talk through a, a, a voice recorder and it goes directly into the machine as reverse. And but you know, that's audio. That's 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 the same thing as flipping radio like. So that is not a breakthrough. He puts a big title on it. Oh, massive breakthrough. Oh, look at me. I'm so good. It's not. It's, it's, it's the same thing as him going on the radio and, and, and putting it through the box. It, it, there's no, there's no difference. Do you know? Um, the only difference is, is Steve Hub has modernized it and that. But, um, you know, some of the prices that he charges for these boxes, um, you know, it, 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 it's it's not good. And Frank Sumption's idea in the first place, he has put on, on a website um, the um, the blueprints to his Frank box, and anybody can any anybody can use them. Um, he invented it. He made a discovery that he can speak to the spirits, and he shared it with the world. You know. Um, and that is why I think Frank Sumption is the was the most important person in ITC, um, not Steve Huff, by no means. And um, when you start putting uh, ITC was never about money. ITC was about getting answers, um, f uh, trying to um, trying to deeper bunk the paranormal, trying to find answers to what we were communicating with. It was not meant to be massive business and that's what Steve Huff has turned it into. And um, for me, I, I think it's very, very sad. But I'm gonna leave a link to the um, original video um, of uh, Frank Sumption's interview, which is which is 47 minutes, as, as I says. Um, I think it's one of the most important things, and I think some of these, some of, some of the investigators out here that have these ghost boxes and don't know any of the history about um, the discovery behind it, I think you should watch this because it is. Um, I think I think it will open your eyes a lot more to the ITC field, and. Um, I mean, like Frank Sumption has uh, had had unintentionally turned um, us people that were um, just searching through uh, frequencies and for searching through channels on amateur radio stations. Um, uh, he he kind of made a little bit of a uh, um, it, it it's left us it, it it left us very very embarrassed because. Um, we were so close. Uh, it was just a matter of scanning uh, through loads of stations and getting those pieces of audio, these little, little bits of clips, and the spirits can put those uh, bits and pieces of audio together to form words. But we weren't doing that. We were, we were, we were searching between stations and sitting there uh, listening to static for hours just waiting for a word or two or whatever and um, you know that that was one of these experiments from way way back but um, I'm gonna leave the uh, as I says I'm gonna leave the link to that um, video down below um, we'll see you in the next video folks and as always be good to each other